Hello teachers and welcome to Ask a Geek, where your questions get answers with as little geek speak as possible. Today's question comes from Wilkinson Junior High teacher Barbara McKenzie and it is a phenomenal question because I get this a lot. The sharing of course, that's going to happen. Um, the sharing document or sharing documents with, with one another. Um, this is kind of a tough concept, and I think this very quick illustration will help. So if I'm part of a team and I've got a newsletter or a teacher letter that I've created for myself and it you know has my name on it, has all my everything that I want to send out and it's ready to go. But I do want to share it with my team so that they can make their own, take my name out, you know, edit their, theirs the way they want to. I don't want them to touch mine. I don't want them to edit mine. So let's pretend like this is mine, um, and I've got, uh, you know, my information here, and I want to share it with my teammate. So I'm going to go up to the blue button and hit share, and I'm going to type, say, my teammate, and Barbara is going to be my teammate for now. There she is. I could put, can edit. That would allow Barbara then to open it up in her shared with me drive and edit away on my document. I don't want that. I mean, I like Barbara a lot, but I just don't want her to mess my stuff up. In this case, in this particular case, if we were collaborating on this newsletter together, if she were writing one article, I was writing another, or that sort of thing, different story, I do want her hands in. I want her to edit. So in this case, this is a newsletter. It's perfect and ready to go out to my parents. I don't want her to mess it up, but I want her to borrow the idea. So I'm going to change it from can edit to can view. So now it's going to, if I, if I keep this checked, it's going to notify her that, uh, you know, I'm sending this for her to use as a sample to, uh, to, to make a copy and use it on her own. So I'll show you kind of what you do from that end. So I'm going to hit this to send. It's sending her a little email that it's it's going to be located in her Google Drive under Shared With Me. So she'll go to Shared With Me and she'll find it inside her Google Drive. If she wants to use it, she'll open that up and I'll kind of show you what it looks like or, or similar. When she opens it up, let's pretend like this is it, it will say view only. She can't do a thing with that. She can't go in here, she can't edit, she can't change, I'm trying, she can't delete it, she can't change my document at all. However, what she can do is go up to file and make a copy. Once she makes a copy of this, I like to rename mine get rid of the copy of and type in whatever I'm going to rename it to and then wherever I want it to hide you know or to stay in my drive I'm going to hit cancel because I don't want this to be recopied but then well I guess I could I could go ahead and put it in a new folder just so it's kind of out of the way and select so no one can see that but me I hope <laughs> I'll go back and fix it. So then this document that was view only changes to this document with my name on it that I now can edit. So I can go along, go around here, and I can highlight this, and I can change it to however I want. But it is not going to change my original document that I started. Hope that helps. Sharing is a tough concept. You just have to kind of think of it this way. This newsletter, this document that I created on my own, I created it, and I'm going to share it with someone because either I want them to collaborate on that piece of paper or no, I want them to see it and have the ability to make their own copy. So I hope that helps Barbara and others that have this question. Take care and thank you.